Greetings, spring chickens. Have you ever wondered who edits our video? In this video, we will be meeting through text our editors. I'll voice the questions. And I'll voice their answers. Who are you? I'm Jun, a high schooler and a Christian. I'm one of the video editors and visual graphics makers. I'm Noelle, also a high schooler and a Christian. I'm the other video editor and visuals maker. Jun and I are siblings, you know, brother and sister. What do you do? As high schoolers, we go to school. Or uh, do you mean, what do we do as editors? We self-proclaimed ourselves as the editors and other stuff makers of Nora's YouTube channel. What we mean is that we're the crew behind Aetheria Nova. We do the video editing, the creation of the visuals, graphics that accompany the video on Canva, and we help with video ideas. What's the whole editing process like? How do you two do it? Me first, me first. So we first have Nora record after hashing out a script and reviewing it a few times between the two of us. So Nora goes and records her video, and then after that's done, we each of us will go through the raw video. One of us will either go through the video and do cuts, and the other will go through the video and start creating the visuals, you know, the graphics that go along with the final video. Oh, and we're beginner video editors, like we have never video edit before or anything, you know? We're learning as we go, using YouTube as our sensei, and we're doing our best, yeah. I you said you also worked on the visuals of the video, the graphics. What else do you two do behind the scenes? I'm next. Me. Okay. So, we did say that we worked on the visuals, you know, those graphics that show up in Nora's videos. We make them in Canva. Canva is like this free software website thingy that does all sorts of things. We mainly use Canva for making the visual you know, the graphics, the thumbnails on the channels, and the channel's branding, and, and such and such. Adding to what my brother said, we also help with creating video ideas. We edit Nora's script after she's done with word vomiting onto it. We try out some ideas too, like the one time where we ended up using AI, like chat, GPT, or Gemini to write Nora a script using some very detailed prompts. I don't think we'll do that again. Yeah, I don't think we'll use AI to write the scripts again. It was weird. Like, super weird. Like, it sounded like what Nora would say, but... It sounded fancy and weird, and I did say weird already. But it sounded like she's all high and mighty, and... And, well, it's something we tried, and we'll never do again. Oh, and we used DaVinci Resolve to video edit. Side note. Going back to the video creation process, does anyone watch the final video before it goes live? Or do you just hit upload? Oh, oh, we watch our hard work first. We all watch. Sometimes our parents will watch, or the video is longer than usual, just the three of us watch. And when we watch, the two of us will watch how the graphics appear on screen, we'll listen to to hear that the background music is at the right volume. We pray that the video won't do this weird glitching thing. You know how I said we used DaVinci Resolve to edit Nora's videos? I'm not really sure why, but somewhere in the process, DaVinci Resolve will render the video fine and all, but then when we go to watch it, sometimes we see these weird glitching spots in the video. Like, we have tried some ways to fix it, all from YouTube video guides, but it still stays the same. As we also said, we're beginners to this crap, so we have no clue what we're doing. Exactly that. Send help. Please! Whose idea was it to make Nora a VTuber? Oh, that is me. I did. Nora was going on about her other name, Etheria Nova. She kept on addressing herself like that. And her friend, I think his name was Fel? She said to just call her Nora, and I was just thinking that her alter name or whatever was super cool sounding. 
Etheria Nova sounded otherworldly. Around that time, I was watching a lot of VTubers like Iron Mills, Mari Yume, and Yam Albat on Based. There were others, but I don't really remember their names. They were good though. And and then the thought hit me. Nora could become a VTuber. We found her to be interesting, a bit strange, to be honest, a whole lot. And what better way to like do something fun with her time is becoming a VTuber. And so we proposed the idea to Nora and her friend fell. We explained what a VTuber was, the model, the artistic views, and what a VTuber does. Fell agreed to the proposal stating that this would be a wonderful way to archive information about Nora's journey here in this world. I uh, guess he meant that there will be records. Nora just found the whole concept interesting. That's when we told her we'll be her teachers in this whole entire thing. Like, don't worry, we got you. We've watched lots of YouTube and VTubers. We totally know what we're doing. Though we've never been on the content side, you know, the content creation side before. We just told the both of them that to like, you know, not sweat the small stuff, the deets. We sweated them. We sweat it for them later on. We ended up doing a lot of research later on too. Anything else to say? We'll get better at video idea creation and video editing and making better visual graphics and stuff. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes stuff or random stuff. That this was like kind of fun. Wait, wait, who wrote those questions? Was it you? No, it was Phil. He said that he just wanted to do something too. So why not a Q&A with the kids? Too bad the kids themselves didn't want to speak. I hope my reenactment did some good. Anyways, take it away, Ethereum number one. Thank you for watching this Q&A video. As the kids say, stay tuned for more behind the scenes videos and watch out for the other videos made by the others. Watch this video next and see ya in the next one.